In today's video, let's see the second part of regulation for emergency source of electrical power in cargo ships. These subjects were discussed in our previous video. Link is available in the description. Today we are going to discuss the following topics. Emergency generator slash emergency accumulator battery. The emergency source of electrical power may be either a generator or an accumulator battery, which shall comply with the following. 3.1 Where the emergency source of electrical power is a generator, it shall be 1. Driven by a suitable prime mover with an independent supply of fuel, having a flashpoint, closed cup test, of not less than 43 degrees Celsius. Started automatically upon failure of the main source of electrical power supply unless a transitional source of emergency electrical power in accordance with paragraph 3.1.3 is provided. Where the emergency generator is automatically started, it shall be automatically connected to the emergency switchboard. Those services referred to in paragraph 4 shall then be connected automatically to the emergency generator. And unless a second independent means of starting the emergency generating set is provided, the single source of stored energy shall be protected to preclude its complete depletion by the automatic starting system, and Provided with a transitional source of emergency electrical power as specified in paragraph 4 unless an emergency generator is provided capable both of supplying the services mentioned in that paragraph and of being automatically started, and of being automatically started and supplying the required load as quickly as is safe and practicable subject to a maximum of 45 seconds. Where the emergency source of electrical power is an accumulator battery it shall be capable of carrying the emergency electrical load without recharging while maintaining the voltage of the battery throughout the discharge period within 12% above or below its nominal voltage. Automatically connecting to the emergency switchboard in the event of failure of the main source of electrical power, and immediately supplying at least those services specified in paragraph 4. The following provision in paragraph 3.1.2 shall not apply to ships constructed on or after October 1, 1994, Unless a second independent means of starting the emergency generating set is provided, the single source of stored energy shall be protected, to preclude its complete depletion by the automatic starting system. Transitional Source The transitional source of emergency electrical power where required by paragraph 3.1.3 shall consist of an accumulator battery suitably located for use in an emergency which shall operate without recharging while maintaining the voltage of the battery throughout the discharge period within 12% above or below its nominal voltage, and be of sufficient capacity and shall be so arranged as to supply automatically in the event of failure of either the main or the emergency source of electrical power for half an hour at least the following services, if they depend upon an electrical source for their operation. The lighting required by paragraphs 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3.1. For this transitional phase, the required emergency electric lighting, in respect of the machinery space and accommodation, and service spaces may be provided by permanently fixed, individual, automatically charged, relay-operated accumulator lamps. All services required by paragraphs 2.4.1, 2.4.3 and 2.4.4 unless such services have an independent supply for the period specified from an accumulator battery suitably located for use in an emergency. Remaining subjects will be discussed in next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.